Nutrition and Feeding of Family Poultry The Small-Scale Intensive System In small-scale intensive family poultry production, birds are kept totally confined throughout the entire production cycle. Improved exotic breeds of layers and broilers are produced, but in much smaller numbers than in commercial or industrial poultry. Commercial balance feeds are supplied to the birds exclusively. This system plays an important role in self-employment, maintenance of livelihoods and ensuring food security beyond the household level. Flock size under this system varies depending on the financial capacity, facilities, type of product and perception and priorities of the poultry producers. In most cases, 1,000 birds is the maximum flock size. A full complement of disease prevention and control is mandatory to safeguard the investment. Under the small-scale intensive system, the only source of nutrients to the birds throughout their life is feed formulated and compounded to supply all nutrient requirements. Maximizing feed conversion efficiency assumes a critical role for optimizing the cost of feeding and profit per bird. Feed must be available to the birds at all times. It must contain all nutrients required for metabolism, body maintenance, growth and production of flesh and eggs. The largest nutrient requirement is for energy. It is important to remember that birds eat to satisfy their energy requirement. The second most important feed component is protein, with appropriate amino acid composition. Other important feed requirements are fat and fatty acids, minerals in both macro and micro quantities, and finally vitamins, which are required in very minute amounts. The supplied feed must provide a full complement of nutrients to meet all of the bird's nutritional needs. Only in this way can it fully express its genetic potential for growth and production. It is important to maintain a delicate balance between the many nutrients. While birds eat to satisfy their need for energy, there is a specific ratio that must be maintained between the amount of energy and the total amount of protein if the abundant energy and other nutrients are not to be wasted. Similarly, there are optimum ratios that must be maintained between the protein and amino acid content of the feed. The same delicate balance exists between minerals. For example, improper ratios between the two major minerals, calcium and phosphorus, will result in bone problems. A sufficient amount of each of the minor minerals and vitamins is essential for good metabolism of the nutrients in the compounded feed. The compounded feed for this system must have the exact nutrient levels required for birds that are fully confined. The margin of error allowed is very narrow. It should be less than plus or minus 1% of the protein level. There are also daily requirements for the amount of feed that birds will need at the different stages of life, as chicks, starters, growers, bullets, laying hens, cockerels or cocks. It is wise to ensure that birds kept under this system have feed available at all times. The same applies for clean, cool water. To maintain the provision of feed and water is no mean feat, and requires careful planning and logistics. If feed and, in particular, water supply fail for a few days, the birds suffer significant damage to their internal organs, and many may die. Such failure of feed and water supply are the two greatest enemies of feeding under intensive production systems. If profitability is the goal, there is no other possibility of feeding in the small intensive family poultry system than provision of balanced feed ad libitum. To simplify the task, only one species of poultry should be kept. Nutrient dilution is not recommended, except in an emergency to forestall the birds dying of starvation. Nutrient dilution may lower the unit cost of feed, but will lead to poorer feed conversion 
higher total feed cost, and lower profits. While all possible feedstuffs can be used, the use of animal tissues for feeding poultry is increasingly avoided because of critical diseases, which, although not well understood, are known to be related to the use of animal tissue in livestock feed. It is very important to remember that correct balanced feed is absolutely vital in intensive poultry production systems, both large and small. Feeding poultry in the intensive system depends solely on compounded feed. A nutrient imbalance and inadequate quantities of feed will result in huge losses in production and income. Only proper nutrition and feeding will assure high productivity and profit. This presentation about the small-scale intensive system is part four of a four-part series on the nutrition and feeding of family poultry.